Link 2012. In that case, you're dead, though. We're back in here. Uh, let's grab some more items. Oh, these are all locked. And I see. Interesting. We can destroy chests, though. Or we can get a creeper to do it, so it's not a problem if we really want to get in there. Here's a chest up here. There we go. Ru more rune items. And just some stained clay. Beastly potion, eh, we don't need it right now. Alright, these are the zombie spawner right here. No longer. Come here, spider. Yeah, this is actually really awful without the cupid. Oh, this is regretless fruit. What is it? Feather falling, blast protection thorn, so it actually doesn't do much. I can't put it on. Oh, come on. One eat one. Very good, very good. Yeah, another explosion. We're good. Actually, with the mob spawner, I don't know. I think I'm just going to automatically just hit them to kill them. We could start making that now, really. We have a lot of wood on us. Won't be a bad idea. We have water, too, so we can make stuff flow if we need it. Alright, let's get our backpack then. We're planning on doing this here. Alright, put away all the valuables. Regen. Okay, very good. So, go away. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Right. Well, I want us to be locked in more or less. So that way nothing can interrupt us. I'm not sure about the range on these guys. I'm going to assume that they have a range of two. Simply because I know that there's always an odd number on the range. So stuff like this, I want to I want to take these down. That way they can spawn as far as possible. I want to get the maximum spawn efficiency out of these guys. Within reason. So you see those grass blocks? They're going to take forever to break, so we're not going to worry about it. Yeah, we're not going to. And then we want to make this closed in more or less. What worries me is that a creeper might spawn in here uh, when we're away. And that wouldn't be nice. Okay. Um. Good, pretty good. Wow, this is already using up a lot of wood. Right, I do want to make sure that it's all closed off so that way spiders can't get in if we're AFKing. Very good. All right. So they'll spawn. They'll come towards me. They won't be able to get to me, though. And that's because, I don't know, I guess we can make it so they drop down a level. Oh wow, we need to close off this. Yet. No, no, no! Please, 
tell me he can't get over. He can get over. Where is he at? Nuts, 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 nuts. This is what I worry about. <laughs> Nice. Now we don't have to deal with them. Same way. Now, of course, we do have to worry about people dropping from up here. Hmm. So let's go block that off, too. So if they try to drop off from here, it'll be too high. You can't get through here. At all. Unless you're a human. You jump over in particular areas. You can still sort of get over here. So now the only threat is the water right here. Let's do this. And we should be more or less safe. Okay. Now from behind, stuff can still get to us. So we, we gotta make sure to block this off and light this up. And of course, might even make a door. That's not a bad idea. It's not such a bad idea. Okay. Boom. Three doors. Okay, nice. So now, yeah, we're not completely closed off. It's not, and this isn't a professional spawner. It's not getting them down to one HP, but we can already one hit kill them, so that's okay. All right, so we can come out here. We are pretty much, okay, actually over here we're not safe. We are definitely not safe over here. Now I think we are. All right, let's see a little bit more. Yeah, over here we're still not safe. This needs to be at least too high in all areas. Off. Very good. Very good. I think we're more or less good. Alright, so the area, the place where we need to stand to get them all to be activated. Is this block right here? Is this block right here? So we're going to have this little thing. And this is getting expensive. Alright. This is where we can come to fight them. Now, in case of emergency, we might need to jump up. So we can jump up from places such as here. So you see you can jump up. Oh no, the zombies are killing me. I can jump up. All right. They're all activated. Very good. So all that's needed is us to destroy the torches. Let's actually light this up right here so we can destroy them from there. Any one back here? Yes. Okay. Alright, careful. Spawning. Spawning. Okay, so now we still. Okay, yeah, wow, this is good. Now let's hope that they can't actually attack us. How are they? Okay. How are they? Oh, there's a little thing there I forgot. Well, I think they might have somewhat of a route to get to me. Alright, come back here. Three zombies. Oh, yeah. These guys. These guys. 
not for what these guys are thinking. Seriously, how? How are you even over here? All right, well, we're gonna make sure that this area is also pretty secure. Good. Looks like we're ready to rumble once again. Where is this next porch out? There we go. That can get destroyed. Please don't push him over. I wish we had some water up above here, too. Oh, yes. Now, if we just pop her through here and fill them with coins, we're set. Yeah, right now we have to manually disable that. Yeah, all of a sudden, the area gets lagging because of all the items. Alright, where are the coins in my inventory? Where are the XP bottles in my inventory? So there are some unforeseen consequences to this. Ouch. We have a rough idea down. This is the important part. We can, more or less, generate a large amount of coins on demand. I actually do want to go see if we can purchase anything right now. With with our with our loot. We can get a lot of XP bottles that way too. Man, we can just get everything. <laughs> That'd be very problematic if we killed them, though, and, uh, well, if, if we spawned them for, like, ten minutes and then killed them all, that would cause issues. Okay. I'm sad about that Cupid. You can always get more, I suppose. This away. We really don't need it. Okay, Cupid too. Unfortunately, since we can't pack him up, we're gonna have to put him away. Alright, now. For coins, I wanna go get some of that stuff. Like the particle commands, for instance. Those are pretty cool. Those sound pretty cool. Same way anymore. Right, I'm actually gonna make it so that way we can get over. Oops. Nuts. Oh, it's not so easy. Right, we already do have a block there, actually. So like this, we can get over. Nice. We got this chest. Wait, what about the spade? 
Dompei's shovel. Oh yeah, Dompei from Legend of Zelda. Alright, what's this got? 16 attack damage. Ooh, that's kind of good. That might be better than what we currently have. Let's actually check it out. Where are some baddies? It will be better if we can, uh... Alright, one, two... Oh, what? You're kidding me, right? This... Two hit kills the spiders, so I can just imagine it doing better to zombies and whatnot. All right, let's go ahead and put away Kevin Cool's rod. Retiring normal weapons. <laughs> oh, we need to put away coins. Oh wait, we, we're we're going up to purchase some stuff with the coins. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. One, two, three. Okay, still three hit for this one. Let's go to stealth, so that's okay. All right, we're good. Uh, let's go up. Actually, let's grab this chest. <laughs> An unbreakable ruined chest plate. Nice. I'm getting shot at from. Get out of here. Uh, protection, fire protection, projectile protection, yeah, no, just... Do we even need... You know what, I'm gonna put a rule down now. We're getting... We're no longer collecting enchant books unless they're super special or something like that. We have more than enough now. Oh, uh, where is it? Somewhere over here came out. I right, know there's a spawner right there. It was interesting putting down all the blood. Because uh, I had to make it light up, so I actually had to go through and uh, use a use a command, uh, not a command, uh, using a filter to do all that, but at the same time you had to do it so that way the redstone wouldn't be uh, eternally active. So that was another little dilemma. Right, I can't find the actual entrance. Oh, there it is, right there. Uh, we're good. Let's go here. What can we buy with these coins? Oh, did we miss it? We missed it. It's right here. All right. The black market. All right. The dark nose. So he's just got things that we can use. What was this? In the quantum furnace? Yeah. None too big. Um, we have Justin Villager. Snazzy. What was this? Snazzy particle commands. Disco pants. Both for 50 coins. And then that weird thing. Okay. So... Uh, there's also a HUD, though. Oh, not Carson. He doesn't have what I want. Ooh, there, this we might want. That's 170 coins, though. We have enough for it, but... Origins? Question mark? I like this, but it's 300 coins. Do we have 300? No, we don't have 300. Not quite. Um, Thorns 1. Aqua Infinity 1. Respiration one, projectile, just everything one except protection, which is a bunch. And that one's just absurdly overpowered with this attack damage. I think we're going to save it for that. 240 coins, yeah. Well, not buying that though. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get 50 coins. 100 coins at least. We're going to go and buy the, these snazzy things. Snazzy particle pack and disco pants. Cool. All right. Disco pants. What do these do? I can't remember. Oh, whoops.
Wait, what? No! Did I just lose my leggings? How do I take the pants off? What? We just lost our leggings! They look really cool, though. These are some snazzy disco pants. How do I take them off? You can't shift click them off. You can't normal click them off. Can you? Oh, you can. Hmm, I'm disappointed in that. I didn't know that. I forgot it would delete my leggings. So we just lost some really, really nice leggings. And I'm sad. Oh boy, we are really easy to kill right now. Because we lost our leggings. Alright, we're gonna need to go find some better leggings. Snazzy com particles commands kit, too. Alright, we, we really need to go put some stuff away. We have a lot right now. But we need to remember that one rule now. No more books. I'm not getting any books. Oh boy. Those pants were so good though, oh, man. They had attack damage on them too. I'm so bummed. I am so sad right now. Oh. I do not like disco pants. Even if they look sort of sweet. Yeah, they're going to go under special items and then they're never going to be touched again. 